It's raining, and most of my most of my girls are inside, but there's still some out here. My leghorns. I don't know. I guess they don't mind it. It's kind of just just barely sprinkling right now. Um, but a few weeks ago, they were several weeks ago they were scratching like you wouldn't believe so I treated them for mites and I use that permethrin and I dilute it and then I spray everything down at night when they're sleeping so it's dry and then when they're up on their perches at night when they're sleeping I squirt their butts and it, a little bit on their back um, so it's dry they're not grooming or anything like that at night they're sleeping so um, that took care of all that they're back to normal for, and if you know your animals and you watch them enough, and I watch mine every single day, so I know how they act. And then I have one bird that her comb is not as red as it should be. It's pale still, and I did pick her up and check her over. And I couldn't, uh, couldn't find anything per se on her. So what I did, I started today. I put some Corid dewormer in their waterers. Very, very little. Um, I'll do that for two or three days. You can look up how much to to use um and because i dilute it so much it's i do it on like two or three days straight i'll do that in their waterers um and then once i get through that if she looks better and i did put some vet rex on her comb today just just because it made me feel better <laughs> um but other than that she's fine i mean she's getting around she's walking she's eating she's you know but i still want to keep an eye on her because I know every one of my birds, and if they act different, then I'm I'm trying everything. <laughs> so we'll do that, and then it's going to be back to the regular maintenance. And I've got some herbs inside the house. I'm going to be mixing them with their feed, which is like sage, oregano, thyme, garlic powder. Um, I can't remember everything I put in there. And then mix some of that in with their feed. And what I also do, <laughs> this one old farmer told me one time, said, if you're having problems getting your chicken to lay eggs in the wintertime, just give them some sweet feed, <laughs> which I, I would have never thought of that. And since we have cows, we have sweet feed. Um, not a lot, you know. I mean, I'll mix a, a bucket up of their feed, with their, which is their crumbles or scratching their corn, and then I'll put a handful of the sweet feed in there. I'll mix that up and give that to them, and they eat it, and... I mean, I don't know if that is what worked or not, but I have eggs every single day. Um, and before I started that, there's days where I didn't have an egg one. Um, but now it's nice weather and stuff now. Georgia weather is strange right now. Um, but I do keep a sweet feed inside the run there, so I do put that in with their feed sometimes. And then I change out their waterers with, like, vitamins, apple cider vinegar, garlic, um, got some liquid vitamins I put in there. I mean, I just change everything up because my feelings or my thought is every bird is different, just like a person. So not any one thing is going to help every single one of them. So I alternate stuff to make sure whatever each bird possibly may need will get it through the process of going up and down my list constantly. Uh, pretty much do the same thing on each list but I alternate the lists um and it's just something I found that works for me so that's where I'm at and keep an eye on that one bird got everything else cleaned up got pooper scooped out today and so everything looks good and cows are getting close to, to the gate which means they're going to be mooing in about an hour um, they're almost always on time. <laughs> Usually three, three o'clock, they want some grain out there. <laughs> so, I'm going to get going with some other chores before I get back to the rest of the stuff.